All right, so we are going to talk about insulation resistance test. But before we start anything at all, let's look at what insulation resistance test is. Okay, so in simple terms, insulation resistance test is a test that is done to ascertain the strength of the insulation on the electrical cables in an electrical system. In other words, it is a test that helps to ascertain the amount of resistance that the insulation on the cables in an electrical system can offer to the flow of current. Okay, this means that the higher the insulation resistance test value, the stronger the insulation on the cables. If the insulation resistance test value is low, it means that the insulation on the cable or the insulation on the cables is weak and it can't resist the flow of current as it is required to do. And in that situation, there can be leakage in the system. Insulation resistance tests can be done on electrical installation to find out if the insulation on the cables are strong enough. It can also be done on a multi-core cable to find out if the insulation on the cables in that multi-core cable are perfectly okay. And then, insulation resistance tests can also be done on an electrical equipment to find out if the insulation on the cables in that equipment are very strong or are good and they will not allow for any leakage current in that appliance. But in this very video, I'm going to explain how to do insulation resistance tests on an electrical equipment. The electrical appliance I'm going to use here is a fridge. So we are going to use this fridge to learn how to do insulation resistance tests on an electrical appliance or an electrical equipment. The instrument that is used for this type of test is known as the insulation resistance tester. People also call it mega tester. So mega tester is the same as insulation resistance tester. Okay, we have different types of them, but in this video, I'm going to use this type to do the demonstration. There are a few things I need to touch on before I start. First of all, you have to be aware that this instrument generates an amount of voltage that will be passed through the cables. And so it is very important to take care to avoid electric shock from the probes. And before I go ahead, you must be aware that an amount of voltage is going to be generated by this instrument. And so you make sure that you don't touch the metal parts of the probes. All right, so there is a general rule for carrying out this test. And that is you make sure that you inject a DC voltage of at least twice the nominal voltage that the appliance will require to work. So for this test, I'm going to set the test voltage to 500 volts. So we turn the regulator to 500 volts. So what is going to happen is that we are going to pass this 500 volts DC through the cables. And then because this is an appliance, we expect that for a good and reliable insulation, we shouldn't have a reading that is less than one mega ohm. If the reading is below one mega ohm, then that means that the strength of the insulation on these cables will be questionable. And that could mean that we could experience some amount of leakage. Now also, before we start the measurement, you want to know how the meter will behave at different instances. So first of all, we'll have to bridge these two probes. Bridging them means that in case there is a short between any of the cables here, will the instrument be able to detect it or not? Okay, so first of all, we bridge this. Okay, so then we press the test knob. And you see the humming, it means there is a short. Okay, 
All right, so now we also want to know what will happen if nothing is happening at all. So we separate the leads and then we press here. Okay, so if nothing is happening at all between these probes, we expect to get a resistance of 5.5 giga ohm. Okay, 5.5 giga ohm. All right, so now we can see the behavior of our meter is normal, so we can go ahead with the measurement. First of all, I'm going to measure the insulation resistance between live and neutral. So this clips here, then this comes here. I press the test knob. We have 1.34 giga ohm. So 1.34 giga ohm is quite okay. Here, take note that this is not even in mega ohm. This is in giga ohm. So it's far higher than what we are expecting. Okay. So the next test we are doing is between live and then egg. So I press the knob and then we wait for the reading. Okay. All right, so here we have 1.32 giga ohm, which is quite okay. And that is between live and earth. Okay. Then our final test is going to be between neutral and then the earth. All right. And between neutral and earth, we have a reading of 1.61 giga ohm which is also very good so looking at the readings we have from the measurements we have taken so far we can see that there is no insulation problem concerning this particular equipment or this particular appliance and so we can rely on the insulation on the cables thank you very much for watching this video please kindly share your thoughts at the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to stay connected.